Hello, I'm meteorologist Matt Bacon. Saw some big thunderstorms earlier this evening, like this one from Stapleton, found by Brendan Loy, sent to me on Twitter. Also some Twitter pictures coming out of Lafayette, some large hail, marble, penny-sized stones, I guess about the size of a penny. Here's a quarter there for an example. Otherwise, near Thornton, uh, Richard, he works in our newsroom, sent in the video of some folks stopping under an overpass to try to avoid the large hail there. Probably not the best idea to stop under those, but Good way to try to escape the hail, I guess. It's going to be uh, quite an evening for the eastern plains, but you'll notice the front range along I-25 will get quieter by 10 o'clock and certainly a quiet overnight period. Most of the storms are sliding to the east. They'll continue through about 11 o'clock, but by 7 a.m., even the eastern plains will be quieter now. Just some leftover clouds from the storms that will move through there the next few hours. Temperatures in the 40s and 50s for lows tonight. 50s and 60s on the plains with 62 expected in Denver. Throughout the day tomorrow, still isolated to scattered storms. Most likely I-25 in the Eastern Plains, just like today. Similar threats, we could see some hail, some damaging wind. Brief tornado warnings are not out of the question for tomorrow. Anytime you get isolated storms like what we saw today, that's going to be possible. We're going to be warm tomorrow too. Plenty of heat to support those storms with 92 in Denver, 70s and 80s in the high country and 90s for the western slope. Over the next seven days, we're going to stay in the 90s, middle 90s for Monday and Tuesday, and very small rain chances tomorrow, Monday and Tuesday. Anytime the chance for rain is small, there's always that risk for a severe storm. Starting Wednesday, Thursday into Friday, a bit more moisture returns, so we'll be kind of shifting from the hail, wind, and tornado threats back towards a flash flooding threat as there's going to be a bit more humidity around, more of that monsoonal flow. And with that in place, we'll cool it back down to around 90 to wrap up the seven-day.